Ideogram 1.0 has recently been released with some amazing features and it's really come to compete for the number one spot. In this video, I'll be showing you through the best ways you can use Ideogram for your KDP business. Now to get access to Ideogram AI, all you have to do is type it in to Google and then click on the website and then sign up through your email. And once you've signed in, then you will land on the explore page. And I really do like the simple layout. It's very easy on the eye. So on this explore page, we can actually scroll down and take a look at some of the designs. It is a bit more like a social app in the way which you can follow different users. You can like any particular design. So let's just pick on this design for an example. And we can see the prompt that they've actually used in order to generate this image. You've also got the four different images that the prompt has generated across the top here. And we're also given a magic prompt. And this actually helps you write more detailed prompts. So anytime you generate an image, then you'll also be provided with a detailed magic prompt too. If you like the prompt, then you can copy and paste it into the prompt bar at the top in order to generate similar images or just write your own prompt. And as soon as you start writing, then you'll see these options appear on the right hand side. So first we have the magic prompt, which I just showed you. You can have that on, off or on auto. Then you can choose the ratio that you'd like your images to be generated in. A lot of mine, I chose two by three as I mostly use it to create book covers and coloring pages. Then for the most up-to-date and advanced model, I selected the 1.0 for the visibility if you're on the free subscription then your generated images will be public for everyone to see now let's take a look at some of the images that i've been generating and we can start off with the book covers so first we have some space coloring book covers i've gone with a kind of cartoon design that really suits kids if we click on one of these images then we can also see the prompt to the far right so it's got a cartoon style spacecraft and then we can see the astronaut and it's also got the title space coloring book in a futuristic font and it's done that with all four of the images however i'll probably say the third one here is my favorite but let me know which one you like the most in the comments next we have a 2024 journal and i tried to play around with a tropical theme to see what images could be generated and it really did produce some colorful and interesting designs my favorite would be on the far right i think that would really be an attractive journal cover and if we look at the prompt it does meet everything that was said. I do like how this tool is able to generate the text properly in each image. I think that's where it separates itself from Midjourney and DALI 3 as it is able to, in most cases, actually generate the correct text. Now for the third design, I decided to create a dinosaur coloring book cover. These are really popular on Amazon. I really love what is done with the title as it makes it stand out and look unique amongst other covers. Even the images that is generated, they really look bright and attractive to the target audience of kids. Again, we can see the prompt that I've used in this image to create this detailed and attractive cover. After this, I tried another cover and this was in the landscape coloring book niche and you can see the images that it's produced. I probably only really like the first two. However, the text generated does look quite boring, but that's more down to the prompt as I could have put in a particular style of font that would have made the output much better. As I put in the prompt that the title is written in large clear letters at the bottom, but I should have specified a font and even a color to make it a lot more interesting. So after this, I decided to switch it up a little bit and really test Ideogram to see what it can do and tested its potential with a travel guide. And I wanted the title to be specifically long just to see if it could generate the correct words and actually did a great job in all four of the images. However, in the second, it did miss out the words travel guide. Also in my prompts, I do always write book cover. So sometimes it does try to generate some random author name 
names but the easy way to get around this is to include within the prompt the author name is and then whatever you want the author name to be so these are some very interesting designs and it does show that it has a lot more capability but i wanted to test it even more with some cookbook covers and i tested this twice in two different styles so we've got the first set here and the second set here now i'd say both of these they do look very professional out of the first set of covers i really like the first and the third one and then from the second covers i really like again i would say the first and the second one here but it's amazing to see how far ai has come in the past year and it's only going to get better it's got the text correct in both of the images and i even asked for the over 600 recipes to be placed below and it's spelled that correctly and you can take a look at both of the prompts here and here. Next I moved on to some quote coloring pages and here for the text I put in a full sentence just to see how well it would be able to generate the text and in the third image it did a great job every sunrise is an invitation to brighten someone's day and it spelled everything correct here however in the second image it just got the word invitation wrong and in the first and the fourth image it does have color in the background next i tried the text of life is a wave catch it and in the background it should have an image of a wave and it got the text right in all the images however i do really like the first one and the fourth one too if you are going to generate these quote coloring pages then as i've done in the prompt here make sure you do specifically include in white with a black outline so that the letters can be colored in otherwise the text will most of the time be in black. And finally, I tested a letter coloring page which would be targeted towards kids. So the idea here is you have a letter and then you have objects around it related to that letter. So here we've got some apples, apricots and avocados which is a bit of a tongue twister but two of these came out quite well and two came out as mock-ups. But overall i am really impressed with the quality of ideogram it doesn't take too long to generate most of the images only 15 seconds and the quality is very consistent in terms of their subscriptions so they have a free account however this does come with limitations you aren't able to have private generations or the ideogram editor or upload your own images but you do get 25 prompts a day and you can download in jpg then for the basic which is eight dollars a month you also don't get access to private generations but you do get to use the ideogram editor and you get much more prompts each day with a hundred and with the plus which is twenty dollars a month you do get the private generations the ideogram editor the image upload but you get one thousand prompts in the priority generation and then you get unlimited in the standard generation now in terms of the usage rights ideogram do state that we do not restrict your rights in your output and reading further for their terms of service we can read here that it states we do not claim any ownership rights in your user input or user output and we do not restrict your ability to use user output for your own purposes including for commercial purposes as between us and you to the extent we acquire any rights in your user output we hereby assign to you all right title and interest in and to such user output so that might be a bit of a mouthful but long story short the user does have full ownership and copyright over the content they produce through this service so thanks for watching this video let me know your thoughts in the comment about ideogram are you going to be using it and if you're interested in me comparing this tool against others for book covers then let me know